Okay, it's Mr. Raps here, and for this Euler's method video, I'm actually going to apply the method as opposed to the concept from last time. And so here's the formula that's given to you in your formula booklet. And when you read this, this is n, y n plus one is equal to y n. So this is the term that is after n. So it's the next term. So I can also write this equation in another way, and this was the way I actually prefer to write it as y is n minus, sorry, y is of sub n is going to equal to y of n minus 1, the preceding term, plus h times f then of x n minus 1 comma y n minus 1, where I also know that x n then is equal to x n plus 1 plus h. And I want, oh, minus 1. Always smaller. So the term we're looking for always relies upon the preceding term. That's what this says. The reason why I like this is because our calculator works in this kind of notation better than this one here. It also makes my table easier to work with. And so what I do know is that if I want to find yn, yn is going to be equal to yn minus 1 plus h in this case is 0 0.2. This is the step, and it'll be given to you in the problem. 0 0.2, and f of, f of x n minus 1, y n minus 1 is the derivative. So that's going to be x n minus 1 plus y n minus 1. And this is the formula we're going to use all the time. Um, and for your method points, you must, must, must write down this formula all the time, okay? Um, sometimes it's even easier to simplify this when you use your calculator. It can be easier sometimes, not in necessity, but I'm going to simplify because it will make things a little bit easier. Plus 0.2x minus 1 plus a 0.2y n minus 1, which means I have... 1.2 yn minus 1s plus a 0 0.2 x sub n minus 1. So here is my formula that we're going to use each time. And so I'm going to set up a table where I have n, I have xn, and I have yn. And when n is 0, which is my initial value, I know that the first value x is going to be 2, and the y value is 0. As we saw uh, previously on the slope field scenario, we saw that here is the graph that we had. Okay, and so now that I have this, I want if n is 1, what happens then is that I'm going to do this is 1, and this will be 0, so it's really going to be y1 is going to be 1.2 times y0, which is 0 plus 0 0.2 times x0. I plug the 1 in there, I get x0, which is 2, which works out to 0 0.4. And so this is 0 0.4. The x is simply going to be adding h each time. My h is 0 0.2, so this will be 2.2. .2. And so I'm trying to get to uh, x equal to 3. So that means I'm going to go to 2.4, 2.6, and so on and so forth. In order to find y2 then, if this is a 2, well that's going to depend upon y1. It's going to be 1.2 times y1, because the n value is 2, subtract 1, plus 0 0.2 times x1. And I have to plug these values in. And I'm going to do over and over and over and over again. But what's expected in this class that you know how to do it, I'll, I'll, I'll plug it in. So it'll be 1.2 times 2.2 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. And if I cheat and tell you what the answer is, I know that the answer is going to be 0 0.92. 0. 9, 2, if I put that in my calculator. But this course is all about using our calculator. And I'm going to show you how to do this iterative process in a calculator. And 
it's actually really important that you learn how to do this because this Euler's method is for one variables. We are going to be extending it the next unit where there's going to be more than just one x and y to deal with. It'll be larger to do. So we have to make sure that we're comfortable using our calculator. And so to do with our calculator, we are going to do something we've not done before. We're going to go to mode, and we're going to change it to sequence mode. Hit enter. And so now when I go to y equals, I have a whole new different set of scenarios that is there. This x button also is no longer x, but it is n. You can see it's n. Okay, so we're going to start at the n minimum. Well, what is our n minimum? Our n minimum is what's the smallest n we're starting with? We are starting with 0. So we're going to make the n minimum 0. Enter. Now u n, well u, the calculator likes to call these, actually these, actually I'll go to this version here, this is what the calculator calls v, v, and x is u. So the calculator uses u and v in place of x and y. So this is the x value in terms of n. Well, what's the x going to be? Well, the x is simply going to be it's going to be u, which if you look above the 7 here in blue, I go second number 7. And I'm going to go n minus 1. I'm going to use the previous term plus the h value is 0.2. There's my h value. Well, what is u0? The first term that's the, it's asking for u, here's a 0 or saying u0. u0 I know is Two. So I'm going to plug in 2, enter, and it will magically put these curly brackets on it. Now we need to put the equation in for y. Well, vn is my y is going to be 1.2. If you look above the 8, there's the v. I'm going to go second number 8, open parentheses, and n minus 1. So it knows to take the previous term, plus 0.2 u and 1. So then I'm going to go need u, oh, u, and this is going to be n minus 1, comma. Now this is saying what is v0? v0 again we know is in this case the 0 that is there. I hit 0, enter. And then I'm going to go my table set, make sure that I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going by ones and then I go to my table and here are all the values that I need for and then I come along and I copy these values so I copy the values of the table and if I read the table here when x is 3 the y value is 3.465 and so what I do need to write though I need to write this entire table down Part of my solution. So for my solution, I need to come up with a formula, and I can do it in terms of y's if I want to. So I can write the formula like this. Any of these three ways here is sufficient. Um, this is often easier to do in your calculator. I copy it down, and then I get 3 is 3.456. So the question says estimate the value of y when x equals 3. Well, y when x is equal to 3, we say is 3.465. Okay, and then continuing on, now that if we're told that y is at 3 is 4.155, determine the percent error in this approximation. Well, if we know in actuality it's y at 3 is equal to 4.155, from our formula booklet, here is the percentage error calculation. So the error, error is going to be the actual or the approximate value, which is 3.465 minus the actual value divided by the exact value. Absolute value of that times 100. And if we do that calculation, 
four six five minus the four point one five five divide by the four times one hundred I will take care of the negative myself and so now I know that the error is equal to sixteen point six percent error on this and this is how we do Euler's method. The expectation for the high level class is that you can come up with the formula, then you use your calculator to create the table, and then you can get the value from your table.